Well, hi there. Welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And uh, we love to improve your home and improve your life. And uh, yeah, company probably will be coming pretty soon. All the in-laws. They're all coming. When are they coming? Are they coming? Sometime in December. Oh, okay. They're not coming for Thanksgiving. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well... No Marilyn. Maybe, no, actually, no Marilyn, but this, that's my mother-in-law. But maybe... Who Annette, loves maybe, Eric so much that so much. she sleeps with his picture right next to by her, bed. <laughs> yeah. her bed. Well, whenever, maybe Eric puts whenever it there. Whenever she comes, I put an 8 by 10 photo of me next to the bedside to, Love ir- you, just to irritate <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. It's pretty funny. That's cute. Uh, but I think Amy's brother Adam's going to come with his girlfriend. Okay, they're, they're going to travel up and you know do a little coastal thing. So company will be coming. Yeah, sooner or later. And so now is the time to be thinking of your dining room because, uh, well. You probably are not in the position to do a major remodel. No, too much stress. Too much stress. Yeah. Probably don't have it in the budget because we've got gifts to buy. We have people to cook for. There's so much. Um, but there's some inexpensive, budget-friendly dining room little updates that we can do. For instance, what about adding chair cushions and maybe even making them different colors? If, you know, to you know what chairs. I mean? Like, I, I'll tell you, this is good because you probably have chairs. They already have cushions. They could be worn out from the crazy cat. Like my cat, Jack, you know, hacks everything up after a couple of months anyway. So you take the existing chair... If you flip it upside down and it's got a cushion on it, there's usually four points of screwing into the bottom of the seat cushion that's a, virtually just a piece of plywood with some foam on top of that. And then it's, you know, it's um, uh, covered in a fabric of some sort, probably stapled on the plywood. So all you have to do is take that off and unscrew those four areas, pull the staples out, and then just take that piece of fabric to the fabric store match the size or, you know, get enough fabric that you can do it at home, cut it to size, use those old pieces of fabric as patterns. Mm-hmm, you can mm-hmm. either trace around it with a, a Sharpie or whatever you have, and then just cut it to size and repeat the exact same process that you, you know, disassembled when you took the chair apart. Pretty easy, probably no more than 40 minutes a chair, I'd say even less, maybe half hour a chair. Uh, and it's a nice way to even have mixed up you know, fabrics that are all different, so it looks a little more like anthropology. Mm-hmm. Everything's sort of different, you know, even though you have, you've got similar chairs. Yeah, and I think it looks great, and it's a pretty easy thing to do. And so when you think when you say everything's different, the unifier just makes sure this is kind of like what they do a lot in fashion. Sure, it's a, it's very trendy now to let's say mix a floral like for women. I'm saying to mix like a floral blouse with a plaid skirt. You That's go, right. Whoa, what's yeah. up with that? Yeah. But the trick is that there might be a unifying color like navy. Is in both. Sure. But there's maybe there's pink, navy, and pink on the top, and it's navy and green on the bottom, or whatever. You know, but the idea is for these chairs, if you picked like five different patterns, as long as there was one color that repeated in all of them, it would look like it was intended, but yet it's still kitschy enough. That's exactly right. You know, and pretty and different. It's you. Yeah, as mu- and as much variety as possible to just give you that feeling of, a, wow, this is colorful and bold mm-hmm. and it looks great together. I, I want to see that in your dining room. I, I, mean, don't think, I think that'd be a perfect opportunity. Because yeah. you guys are so great with color. We're great with color and, and terrible with wear, mm-hmm. you know, because we've got the kids and the cats and the dog. <laughs> Wait, and uh, did you hear the way he said... Where? <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> it sounded like you were a little frustrated I'm, I'm about the where. Because I'm a little frustrated. It was an I've emphasis it. thing. It's a little emphasis. It's I'm okay. A, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where? <laughs> I've, I have just 12 more years of this. So that's. You're doing good. I'm doing You're doing good. great. You're yeah. a great dad. It's Thank okay. You. It's wearing. You know, the chairs are worn. But you, know, you, know, well, you can get some fabric for the cheap. Come on, you can do I don't this. see why I wouldn't do that. All right. Well, so you know? how about some other. So here's what I'll do when I get my photo of myself. And Marilyn in the frame. Okay. I'll buy some fabric too, and I'll recover the chair. Okay, I can't wait. I can do this I in an see, afternoon. I want to see some. I have colors. a staple gun too. If you don't have a staple gun, get one because that is the secret to stapling into plywood. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it's virtually impossible. You can also use fabric tacks mm-hmm. and tap them in with a hammer. But you know, either way works. So okay, try that. Done. Great. How about if you have like a little side buffet? Expressing your style with some different handmade or vintage pieces that tell. A story, you know, let's say in the dining room, you have maybe an old vintage fan or an old globe or maybe, you know, some of these um, little uh, catalog drawers. I mean, the whole like like the library days, you know, 
the Dewey Decimal System. The whole idea is to have some fun, decorative interest that's going to be inexpensive, but yet looks like now you've really created a sense of design. Great. Now, what are you going to do there to explain that to me? Well, so just on on your side buffet, you would just add a cute a, 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 it would be vintage theme. So I you would see. find, okay, let's say, okay. a vintage fan, you know, an old like nineteen twenties uh, fan. So it's just a collection. It's of a things collection. Like that. That's cool. Yeah. We can't we can't ignore perking up the dining room with some wallpaper. That's really going to be easy to change. Maybe it's just one wall. I don't just and, one oh, wall. You know what else you can do? A panel. A you panel. Can do, you could cut a piece of three quarter inch plywood, put wallpaper on that. Put a frame around it and just have a Pretty. panel of wallpaper Pretty. if you don't want to go into the whole thing. Or on, on if you have like a, a nice um, bookcase area, just the backs of the bookcase in the dining room. Yeah. The, see, the, the difficult and challenging part of doing wallpaper are the angles. If mm-hmm. you don't have to contend with angles and you're just doing one wall and you're going from wall to wall, ceiling to the top of your baseboard, it's pretty doable. You know, it's just the, you got to keep the paper wet. And you have to have a nice work area. The key to wallpapering is having a couple of sawhorses and a big plywood table that's big enough to hold, you know, a, an eight-foot run of paper, basically, mm-hmm. so you can glue it all up and get your wall glued to, and then have the time and the space, and it's not all sticky like you're a fly and fly paper, and have a nice yeah. clean work area. Then wallpapering is really fun. If you don't do that, you're kind of in for a little bit of a headache. How about just thinking of a nice throw rug? Yeah. Because you can go, there's a lot of these different stores that are pretty inexpensive, or you can even try the product that we love, the floor carpet tiles. But the idea is just by having that little framing beneath the dining table and the chairs itself, it isn't wall to wall. You know, it could be like just jute. It could, it could look almost like sizal, sure. that kind of a thing. It just kind of gives it a warmth. And people come and go, hey, have you changed something? No. Did you no. remodel your dining room? No, it's oh, just no. a little... We just did something. And the sound quality in the room is better. Yes. Oh, why is that? Well, because I've got this carpet on the floor. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> you know, that's what happens. Yeah, so these are some fun ideas that you can do rather inexpensively just to make your dining room look better for the upcoming holidays, yeah. you know. we got Mix more of these match. to come. It's all coming up. We yeah. have more to talk about. You're listening yeah. to Home Wizards, Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, right here. Yeah, we love our music, and we love talking to you about all things home and garden and life improvement. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stroman. And this is Home Wizards. And by the way, as you listen to things, you go, wait, I want to hear that again, what's going on. It's really easy. You just go to yourhomewizards.com, and all the uh, past shows, the past segments are there. You can find them by topic. You can read the articles. You can watch videos and all that good stuff. So to do make sure you go check it out at uh, yourhomewizards.com. So now to the dining room. And paint a picture for everyone about your dining room, Eric, because I think it looks... It's a neat dining room. It's very warm and cozy. You've got a family sitting around there. And yep. it, it isn't too fancy, but yet it feels it feels it, very it, special. It's, it's one of these tables where you can have, you know, fine china or yeah. you can carve pumpkins on the table. See? You know what I mean? It's it's utilitarian, but it uh-huh. also looks great. I've got a nice crystal chandelier above. Mm-hmm. The, the color of the room is that deep navy blue with mm-hmm. crisp white trim and then a big wood sort of family farm table. Uh, and then around, you know, tons of art because my dad gave me a bunch of paintings from his art gallery when he sold it. So I got a lot of fun. With kind of like gold leaf. Gold leaf frames. And so what's interesting, you have blended what would be kind of some formal stuff with sure. some really down-home country stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it works because, it you works. know, it doesn't feel stuffy. Yeah. It feels like you can and relax. And you know what else? The best thing about it, it works because that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, and that's what you have to do. Necessity is the mother of invention, yeah. am I right? Yeah. And that's what we're talking about. Let's say, you know, because people are coming over and you go, well, gosh darn it, I can't afford a dining room makeover. One of the be- Actually, one of the best things about that space is the I have a big bench seat that I made out of a big, um, uh, like a f- six by 12 piece of wood. And I just bought legs. You can buy legs at, at uh, Ikea that you can attach oh. to virtually anything. Oh, right? wow. And I just put them on this beam. I roughed it up so it looks like it, you know, it was floating in a river for 35,000 years. And then put some Brie wax on it. And then on top of that, there's cushions. But the bench seat is great because all kids sit on the bench seat. 
And, and this is a not, beam? That, yeah. And then there's not a bunch of fussing around and, you know, who gets to sit where. It's just you're all on the bench, period. So wait, that sounds like a great Ikea hack. Yes. So you go to Ikea, you get the feet. Well, they sell the feet the legs. on their own, like yeah. to amend anything that you Isn't might want to do. Isn't that great? Yeah. And, you know, because you can, make a, you can make seating out of anything, you know, whatever you like, doors or uh -huh. pieces of beam, beam uh -huh. or whatever, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. And the idea is now this could be, that could be your solution to kind of upgrade your dining room. Yeah, Because maybe right. you wanted to have a little nook. For that added overflow of guests, that's it. right? Yeah, and the good news about the bench is it tucks away, it gives us more room mm. to walk around uh -huh. when it's not as a dining room, and uh -huh. then you know it's just kind of out of sight, out of mind. I want a bench. I don't blame I think you. I, I think I need to We're make a get bench. You one. And and the cushion. By the way, a, a six by twelve by you know ten foot beam. Uh huh. Maybe twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. Just at the big box store or yeah, the lumber yard like the Home or, Depots or whatever. anywhere. Yeah, nothing. Wow. And then all you have to do is. You can either have it very linear looking, you know, and, and modern and, and, you know, sleek by keeping it with squared edges, uh -huh. sand very a little contemporary. bit. Or you can make it look like a piece of antique wood that's been floating around. And how did you rough it up? You Just, just with a belt sander, you know. Uh -huh. uh, you Threw know, things at just, it? Or? Yeah, hack it with a chain, you know, whatever wow. you want to do. Just make it look sort of an Neat. antiquated. Distressed. Distressed, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And, and then you added the cushions. And then how do you adhere the, the legs to You the... just screw them in with you know, drywall screws oh on the gosh. bottom. That's it. Done. Oh, my gosh. That seems so fun and easy. So yep. that's a great solution. For your dining room. Okay, yeah. so some other things, because we have people coming over and we want things to feel great. Well, let's say you don't have enough chairs. Well, that's okay. It's all about mixing and matching furniture. You can mix and match the chairs, or you can mix and match, let's say you have a buffet that's a certain kind of a wood, but then you also have another cabinet that's a different kind. Sure. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It can it can still kind of connect. You that's know what it. I mean? As long as you if you select the table first because it's much easier to find chairs that work with the table's height than the other way around. That's one thing to keep in mind, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now the other thing too about mixing and matching max, uh, matching Ma chairs. I've done this so many times throughout our lives when, when you know, I do have a chair shortage often yeah. because there's so many people that come in and out. Oh, look there. who's coming. There's yeah, a oh, dozen there's of them. Oh, there's Donnie and his <laughs> uncle Drake. Here they go, right? These chairs, you can buy them at, at the, you know, good. you can get them at Goodwill for a song, maybe uh -huh. ten, five, ten bucks. If they're all wood, just spray paint them in, in bright, vibrant colors. Don't try and match everything. Just make them as crazy different as you can. By having you know five different colors, and then those are just either out in an in an area that you know maybe even outside on sure. your on your balcony extended seating. Bring them back yeah. in uh -huh. when you need them, and then uh -huh. take them back out, and, and it works great. And they're very inexpensive. Love it. Yeah, love it. If you have a sideboard uh, in your dining room, we're talking about things you can do without a major upgrade. I mean, without right. even a minor upgrade, little little updates to get you set so that you're ready for the fall entertaining and the holidays to come. Um, a sideboard is great for not only storing your serveware, like all that great china that you have, sure. but what I like just much like that bench that you spoke of, this is kind of more of a slender table where you can walk around it and there's still space to walk by it to have your dining room table and the chairs. And then yes. you can put your favorite pieces to work for decoration, you know, showcasing some of the prettiest collectibles, sure, that sure. kind of a thing. And then, or like you said, if you need buffet stuff in the in that room, you know, the casseroles can go there during the holidays and it's much easier to just walk through a line by the buffet rather than clutter up the kitchen or have, yeah. it, have to serve it at the table. I think it's easier sometimes to do it that way. Now, are you guys tablecloth people? Only on the holidays. Okay. Because it, it because you have to dry clean it typically. Yeah. And, I, could, and... I, could pos I could not possibly handle that if I was to have, having to keep a tablecloth clean all yeah. the time. No way. It's a little stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, I mean, no matter what cleaning secrets you have, it always never fails that, oh, Gary, here we go. Well, a couple Don't things I... happen. You go... Oh my God, you just spilled on the antique tablecloth. Or you go, I can't believe you spilled that wine. It was $50 a bottle. <laughs> I mean, <they're, laughs> or what a pig. You can't even keep the food in your mouth. Oh, you know, all those things yeah. come up when you're watching people eat on a tablecloth. That's kind of fancy to me, you know. <laughs> so. Well, speaking of spilling the wine, I told you about when Bill and I were in Cabo. No. And what we did with the Cabo Wabo tequila. No. We went to buy the t the Cabo Wabo, which, by the way, you can buy anywhere. Yeah, I know. But anyway, you're there, went in Cabo. You got to do it. And we, so we went there, did the tour, got the... Sammy Hager, that's him. Bought right? a couple yeah. of bottles we're going to bring back to friends. We yeah. go across the street to have lunch. This was in a little plastic bag that Bill puts my husband um, on the back of the chair. 
The waiter comes, and guess what? He knocks it off. The whole darn bag falls on the floor. Three or four bottles of tequila. Ooh. But we didn't let that bother us. No. We used a cloth napkin as a sieve. And every- <laughs> on the house, everybody. Come on. <laughs> so you blotted so, it up and then squeezed it into it, it the was glass. A, it was in the bag. And so we didn't let that. Anyway, oh, so that's great. if that happens with your wine, same that thing. That is a great idea. Yeah, See, this, you gotta, again, you gotta necessity overcome. is the mother of invention. <laughs> And adapt. <laughs> so anyway, let's say that you did want to drape the table. There's nothing like a beautiful tablecloth. Yeah. Maybe to disguise, you know, a worn out surface or sure, something. Yeah, Just that's find true. the right one to match. The con- and also be careful considering the size. I've bought some of these before where it's so long that people are like tripping that, you know, yes. there's so much stuff hanging yeah, down. Yeah. Or you, you get, you try and slide under the table yeah. and somehow catch the cloth and pull all the stuff yes. off the table. Like a magic I've trick. I've had that happen, yeah. What about selecting the right chandelier? Let's say that you had enough to just... Maybe you wanted to get an antique chandelier. You found it at a garage sale. Sure. What do you think? I, I love set it. The tone. I mean, that changes the look and feel of the room because the light quality is going to be different. And if you put it on a dimmer, even better. That turns into sexy time. Mm-hmm. You know, even if you're just dimming slightly for conversation, it makes for less of a feeling that you're being interrogated. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a nice... It's a nice romantic feel. Now, here's something else you can think of. For your dining room, let's say that you wanted to do a little bit of painting or a little bit of something. You want to create a nice, relaxed look. Consider layering neutrals. Ooh, I mean, you, that's pre- I like that look. Layering neutrals. So yeah. let's say you have kind of a... A gray. I, I've been wanting to paint a room gray, by the way. We almost went with gray for our family room, but then we I, went listen, with... Listen, I hate to tell you. The navy? The, no. Oh. The color of the Mac gray. computers, I, oh. to this day, I still you think want, it's one of the best grays out there. You want that. Yeah, it's a great color. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's pretty elegant, isn't it? It, it, it? For some reason, it just says that to you when you look mm-hmm. at it. You know? And it's a, they've done, obviously, a tremendous amount of research, but that gray seems to well, be right. Well, it's not too masculine. It's not too feminine. It just It's, it's really universal. So why not maybe paint a wall or the room in a nice gray that's going to be that, that neutral and then layer it with some other things like the tablecloth, the chairs, the decorative things, so it feels very relaxed. You know, like bright, vibrant color doors really pops off gray beautifully. Mm-hmm. Like a red door with gray is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Love elegant and yet casual. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. So all these things you can do really very inexpensively and still feel like, you know what, your dining room is ready. You're ready, and you do it now. And now do you don't, now. don't and, have and the even, stress. What about just doing an accent wall in that in that space? Gorgeous. Paint it one wall gray and, and you know hang some beautiful black and white prints on there. You, Gorgeous. You are ready for anything yep. throughout the holidays. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. We hope you're having fun because you know we love to have you with us to improve your home and improve your life.